Hey Indianapolis, I'm Kate from Nuvo, and today is St. Patrick's Day in Indianapolis. <laughs> Tell me, what are you wearing? Who are you wearing? Okay, I'm with a colonial group, the Sons of the American Revolution, and we're here representing the first St. Patrick's Day Parade, which was held in 1762. The real question to you, young lady, is where would that parade have been held? Uh, I don't know. Can you tell me? Manhattan, not Ireland. This is not a surprise. Really? And we weren't even a country then. We were just a colony. Why aren't you at work? Three days a week I'm a nurse, so. <laughs> I took the day off. You took the day off just for St. Patrick's Day? Right, that's right. This morning I was having a little bit of a hard time getting in the mood for St. Patrick's Day. I had my green eggs, no ham, I'm a vegetarian. But I got down here to the canal and it's pretty hard to deny how green and how St. Patrick's Day it gets down here. I think the key to getting in the St. Patrick's Day mood is to color everything green. For Nuvo, I'm Kate. Happy St. Patrick's Day! Happy St. Patrick's Day! The Gumby men are on the go in the hills of Connemara. Gather up the pots in the old tin can. They mash the corn, the barley, and the bread.